well I'll, I'll say for example painting at an art school or painting say in infant school the initial desire to paint or the initial su first successes at painting arise I think out of a very genuine basic um, drive one way or another so and and because of families and social setups they're channeled into success or otherwise and uh, th uh, through schools and such like and one gets different things and I think and, and of course one comes across teachers and people like that teaching and sort of instruction and t to talk to and they came and I feel now that having left art school that there are a lot of things um, that I could do a lot of things I see now a lot of things that went into me into my head and thinking that these were perhaps changing and altering things for instance I made a painting the other day and it's, I could uh, see and hear very clearly sort of different instructions and different criticisms going into the picture, which were in fact um, criticisms that I could relate back to school, art schools and teachers and various things that had come for, for, at that time. So maybe this would be very valuable, this break. I don't know. and. Uh, sort of to try painting again after a break of and going into pop music and going to playing this sort of music just might work out that you get more sort of basic freedom I don't know it's, a, it's something that just things like shape of the paper and uh, seem to be a lot of assumptions taking place <laughs>